This review covers the material on problem solving. Now I started it by summarizing in a little table the four steps of problem solving in general and how they apply to process design and what typical activities we might be doing as we're implementing our process. So remember the four stages in order are orient, plan, execute, and check. And in process design, what we're doing during the orient phase is gathering our requirements, deciding what the program or the process should do. Then in the next phase, plan, we write a specification about how the program will work. In the third phase, we implement the program, and in the final phase, we do our testing. So when we want to think about the activities that actually pertain to each of those, well, in the orient phase, we'd probably be consulting with potential users, even if it's just us, uh, writing use cases, and also writing our tests. In the planning phase, we'll be doing our design, so designing the user interface, designing how the program will work, uh, coming up with the steps that it will follow, the choices that it will make. Um, we might do a flow chart or write some pseudocode and step through the process manually. During the execute phase, where we're implementing the program, we're going to build our user interface and write the code. And in the checking phase, we're going to test our program actually run the tests that we came up with in the first part and correct any errors. So let's go through some typical questions that might be asked. Uh, what is the first phase of the problem solving process? Well that's the orient phase, A. The second phase is the planning phase, that's D. The third phase is the execute phase, that's C. And the fourth phase is the testing phase. Check. That's B. Now, which one describes developing requirements? Well, that's the orient phase, A. Which one describes developing specifications? Planning, D. Which one describes actually writing or implementing the program? That'll be C, executing the plan. And which one describes the testing? Well, that will be our checking phase, B. Okay, now use the following choices for the next set of questions. In which phase would you develop a use case? Well, that would be the requirements phase. In which phase would you develop a flowchart? That would be B, the specification phase. In which phase would you write a program? That would be C, the implementation phase. In which phase would you write tests? Well, remember that's A, the requirements phase, where we actually write the tests. In which phase would you perform the test? That would be the testing phase, D. In which phase do you describe what the program should do? That will be in the requirements phase, A. And then where do you describe how it should do it? That will be in B, the specification phase. Next set of questions. Uh, here are the different shapes we use in flowcharts, and we want you to be able to say which is which. So which one is used for a begin and end step? That would be B, the rectangle with the rounded corners, which is used for a conditional step. That will be E, that diamond shape. What about the input-output step? Well, that will be D, the parallelogram here. What about a computation step? That's A. And which shape is used as a connector? That's C. Okay, that finishes this phase of the review.